Hello, my name is Akur Bhalotia and I am a technical specialist at the Center of Excellence. Today, we will talk about integration between Google Sheets and Drive. Imagine you're a project manager. Your organization has recently purchased Drive. This is great. You're excited, but you have a question. You have been using Google Sheets for a while to manage your projects and you want to know how you can transfer your data from Google Sheets to RIC. The process is pretty simple. We will use RIC Integrate to transfer the data from Google Sheets to RIC. We will map data from Google Sheets to data in RIC. For this demo, I have assumed we have got four columns in Google Sheets. Task name, task description, start and end date. These four columns will get mapped to different fields in Drive. To achieve the integration, I will use Workato. Currently, Workato does not have any recipe in it. If you're curious what a recipe is, recipe can be thought of as the program that will enable the integration. Here I have got Google Sheets, which has got a project in it. It has got a sample project with six tasks in it. Also, I've got right here, which has got a folder which does not have any tasks in it. Once the integration is done, I expect to see all these tasks from Google Sheets moved into right. The first step to create the recipe is I have to give it a name. I will give it a name, let's say demo. Google Sheets to Reich. I have to set a location. Then I have to pick a starting point. Now I've got a few different options here. For this demo, I will choose trigger from an app. Now the triggering app is Google Sheets. And I've got a few different kind of triggers here. For this demonstration, I will use new or updated row in my Google Sheet. The next step is to create a connection between Workato and Google Sheets. Now, I can use one of the existing connection, but for this demo, I will create a new connection. I have to give it a name, I will say demo. Then the next step, the next step is to approve this connection. Once the connection is created, I have to select the name of the spreadsheet. In this case, this is the name of my spreadsheet. Once I select the spreadsheet, then I have to select the name of the sheet, which is new task demo. And then which column I want to monitor. For this demonstration, I have selected all the columns. Once that is done, I have to select the next step. That is what action I would like to take. So the action I would like to take is to create a new task in Write. So first of all, I have to select the application and then the action. Again, I have to create a connection, but since I've already demonstrated how to create a connection, I will use a pre-existing connection. I have to select the name of the folder in Write. In this case, it is project to demo. Now we have to do the data mapping. So here's a task name from Google Sheets that gets mapped to title in Drive. Then task description with the description. 
there are few fields in right which does not have a corresponding field in google sheets so i leave those fields empty now let's test if this integration is successful and it is now one thing to remember during the test process is it only tests for one of these rows so if it's successful i hope to see my first task in google sheets or oh, my apologies in Rack. and here it is since i'm satisfied this recipe is working i will save my recipe and then i will exit and start the recipe once the recipe starts it picked up the missing jobs and all the data is now transferred to Rike. And finally, we will check the data in Rike. And we will make sure that the data in Rike is the same data we have in Google Sheets. So let's look at a task in Google Sheets. Let's say task number four. Install cameras. Task description is install 50 cameras. Start date is 28th of June. Finish date is 30th of June. So let's look at install cameras. Title is correct. Description is correct. Start and end dates are correct as well. <laughs> 